Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. And we're back with Art Before Breakfast. Today is the color book day. It's Tuesday. And today is yellow. So I've been collecting all sorts. I kind of started a little layout on the... Um, last one we put down some background oh i was going to find some washi tape to go on there in the middle um let's see what i got i don't know if i have a lot of yellow washi tape unless i use let's see oh I see something we could use that would be a lot of fun. I have two of these. How about if we use some yellow? Um, well, I'm just jumping right into it. I didn't even say good morning. Melody! I am so glad you're here. So let me back up. I got so excited about jumping into this. I just forgot to like do my whole intro thing so good morning everybody if you're new here welcome i'm glad you're here sit back have fun and if you're returning uh april cheryl big mama melody nydia welcome back you know i love you all and um Thank you for coming. Be sure and give a thumbs up. And for the folks in the balcony, good morning to you too. So this is the color book. This was um, Cat Hand. I don't know how many of you watch her, but she does a mixed media morsels every year. And a couple years ago, she did a color book where each... Um, it was a monthly thing. Each month was a different color. And I did like three pages and then quit and um, decided that we would finish it up together. So we're going to do it on Tuesdays, though. We're not just going to do one a month. I want to finish it sooner than that. So on Tuesdays, we'll work in this book till it's done. And so this was purple that we had the other day. Now we're on yellow. So now I can jump into it and I have got this will be a really cool washi tape going down the side or down the middle. How is everybody this morning? Anybody? Oh, I had something exciting happen yesterday. I got to tell you about. And thank you all for um, celebrating my retirement day yesterday with me. It was such a fun day yesterday. Hubby wanted to... Um, do something to celebrate and we talked about going out to dinner and we were going to go we live really close to south carolina and we often go down to greenville or spartanburg and um oh feeling kind of lazy hey nothing wrong with that um so he found a vegan restaurant online down in greenville south carolina which is about 30 minutes from us and so he said you know go online look at their menu see if you know well when I looked at the menu it was mostly like lunch kind of foods and I thought you know I don't necessarily want to go there for dinner because I didn't really have like entrees so we decided to go early we left and went down for lunch and um look at that how good that yellow washi tape looks on there um we went down for lunch 
and had the most awesome. I mean, it was, oh, it was good. This whole vegan thing I'm telling you is not hard to do because um, the foods are so good. Um, but anyway, so we um, went down and this stuff is kind of blurry across here, but that's okay. Um, while I was there, I got to talking to the guy who owns it and runs it. And he's been in his location for like 18 years. And I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, we picked your restaurant. I said, I'm celebrating my retirement, yada, yada. And I said, well, sort of retirement. I said, I still have my own little business that I run on the side. So we got to talk about what I did. And I started showing him some pictures. And he um, asked me if I could do things like night lights, um, some earrings, some things. He has a little merchandise section in his store. And he wanted to know if I could make some things that would... Um, you know, work in his store. And he wanted to know, like on the night lights, he said, if I bought like 10 of them, you know, what kind of price could I get? I was like, holy cow. And so, and he wants, like I said, earrings, but um, I'm going to do some magnets for him, um, some keychains, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to make him up some prototypes and then um, send them to him. So I think I have, hi, Bonnie. I think I have a new business venture. If this pans out, we'll see. He was very, he said, oh, my wife will love earrings. He said, I got to have earrings for my wife. So, and I thought what I would do is just cut them out of copper. I'll keep the price low. I won't do them in sterling, but um, I'll just cut them out, cut his little logo. Um, the store or the restaurant is called The Naked Vegan. And he has a picture of it. You know the you know the um, picture that truck drivers put on the back of their mud flaps of the girl, the naked girl sitting there with her like knees bent. She's kind of leaned back a little. Well, he did a parody of that. He took a carrot and did that with a carrot, did the same kind of thing. So um, it's kind of cute. So anyway, that was my big, my big thing from yesterday. I may have a new customer. All right. And then this was the other thing I was going to do. I was going to put this because the, the, um, little time card things or they're not time cards they're it's like an order log um didn't quite go out to the ends and man we got a big thunderstorm yesterday my poor puppy dog she was scared to death all right all right Now, what do you guys think? Should I leave? Because I've got some stuff sticking out. Should I leave these? I won't leave them quite this long. But should I leave these little yellow bits hanging out the top? I think I might. Wendy! Welcome, welcome, my friend. All 
How you doing, girl? All right, we'll leave those out just a little bit, top and bottom, to give it a little extra character. All right. Now, as I remember it, we had we had this little gnome guy, and we had her. on here like this. So Wendy, we're doing the cat hand challenge from a couple of years ago, her mixed media morsels, which was a book of colors. And today's color is yellow. Yeah, we don't get all the gnome, but we get enough of him. So I think we had her on there. And I had a couple of mushrooms. There's the other one. I don't know. Maybe we put these over here. Yeah, if you go back, it was two years ago. And... Um, I had done like three pages in it, and I thought, you know, I want to, re I really want to finish it. So, oh no, we had this up here, like that. And then, let's see, what else did I have here? I had this little number five. We could put those like that. I don't like the big red arrow, though, because that's really, well, it's not yellow, for one thing. I do have... Cheryl, this is from the stuff that you sent me. How about if we put that check right there, put it under the gray, and then we can put those up there. We'll show that'll go like that. Rooster! Roosters here. All right. Now we can cut that off. So we can just put that down there like that. We can put those up there. What are you guys thinking about this? Should I start gluing stuff down? I can glue her down up to the seam and then cut her, you know, the pieces off that we need to cut off so that it um, gives us a more realistic view of what we're working with. Marty, hello. In the mail to you, what's in the mail to you? Oh, I don't want to put that guy down just yet. Um, just use this to kind of spread out the glue and we'll clean it off. Okay. Uh oh, ah, 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 Yeah, no, no check in the mail, unfortunately. I don't have one for you, Marty. I wish I did. I wish I could send everybody a check. It's fun because I know I love getting stuff in the mail and it's always fun. 
All right, let's pull this stuff off. Let's get her all glued down. Up to the... I'm going to go right up to the... Um, Let's cut off the bottom. Oh, this came out of a Costco magazine. This girl. I don't know what she was pointing at, but she's got a bright yellow sweater on, so she fits the bill. All right, now let me see if I can get this without messing it up. So anybody have any big plans for today? Big Mama said she's feeling really like a day of relaxation might be in the works for her. Let's throw that away. All right. So there's that. I haven't put that down yet because... Okay, what do you think of her? All right, and then the next thing I think we were going to put down was this. So let's put that, send the rain over. Scott's wanting it. Well, it was, it was beautiful all day. My husband was lamenting that we hadn't had enough rain. He's been overseeding the lawn and he hasn't had enough rain for his grass seeds. And I said, yeah, but I said, you know what this place is like? It'll um, be beautiful and sunny. And then we get the afternoon rainstorms. It'll cloud up and, and pour and thunder. And then um, it'll clear up. We'll be like, it never happened. Well, it, it kept on into the evening, but that's what it did. In the afternoon, the, the rain clouds here. I don't know if it's like this where you guys are, but hey, Mimi. Oh, you and me both, Wendy. You and me both. Um, but yeah, we tend to get those afternoon rain showers, and sometimes they can be really strong. All right, so we had that. I didn't ink around that. Oh no, we were going to put this down here like this to cover up that red. This check's already been cashed, Marty, so even if I sent it to you in the mail, it wouldn't do you any good, unless you were going to craft with it, because it's already been cashed. Leah, welcome back. So glad you came back. We are working on the yellow... page today in our color book and the next one is black and white that'll be fun I've got all kinds of black and white stuff we can use all right let's oh um, this is I just want to be careful that I don't cut off the little gnome on the other side. Except where he needs to be cut off. Okay, I did cut him a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think we can put 
this down. I'm not going to glue it all the way to the edges. I am doing awesome. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, having a great day so far today and had an awesome day yesterday. Whoops, I guess we don't need the back of her head coming over here. Let's cut off the top of her head. Kind of hate to do that. I feel like the, um, was it the Queen of Hearts in uh, Alice in Wonderland who said, off with her head. So that's my nod to Alice in Wonderland. I'm not a huge Alice fan. I read the book. I read both of them. There, were, there was Beyond the Looking Glass, Alice in Wonderland, and then Beyond the Looking Glass. And I did read both of them. All right, so there's that, and I did stick that down, but it's not staying. All right, and then we were going to put the mushrooms down, and I may ink those up. I know. A dissection. We gave her a, is it a? craniotomy, whatever, when you open up the top of the head. Um, let's see. There's that. Now, where's my little... There it is. Let's look up these mushrooms. Yes, I've known Melody for a long time. She buys for my sales, and if I do a live stream at a decent hour for her, where where exactly are you located, Melody? I don't remember. I know you're out west. Are you in California, Oregon, Washington? I don't remember. Um, but it's early. She can put. She can get another brain. In the Wizard of Oz, yep. Well, we're glad you're back, Big Mama. It's just not the same without you. Just look at how fun this yellow page is coming along here. All right, let's put this up here. I don't want to glue these down just yet because I don't know what else I want to put on here. But we'll put those up there. Now, what else have I got? I've got this school bus stamp. <coughs> put that down there in the bottom or I can cut out the school bus what do you guys think here's part of a yellow stamp and then I've got this little yellow flower we could put we could put it up here kind of coming out her shoulder but I think I no, I didn't glue it down. I left it open just so I could do something like this. We could put that yellow flower coming out of her. <laughs> I know. Oh, West Virginia. Why did I think you were on the West Coast? Then you have no excuse, girl. You need to be here at 830. You got no excuse. All right. Let's see what else do I have here. 
I've got some Rick Rack. Ooh, I've got these too. I've got those. We use the seam binding. It's not really seam binding, it's like a hem binding. So what are you guys thinking of all that? Is that looking good or no? Oh, you and that AC guy, but you better get it going before it gets real hot. Ha ha ha. I could put this, I could even take it I don't think I want to put it across her head. I could put down this little rickrack right across the top. All right. What are you guys thinking about this layout? Does anything need to move? What do you think, Big Mama? Oh, did we get Cindy and Dusty? Okay, we've got Dusty Unicorn. Welcome back. And Cindy, welcome back. Yes to the Rick Rack. Okay, I'm going to put it down. I'm telling you guys, it is so much fun to go through your craft room with, you know, like this, like a color in mind and just you know, find different things. I don't always use everything that I find. Oh, I have the right thing for her head. Hang on. Wait till I show you what I have. I think you'll like it. Okay. When I was in Janet Nash's cat hand was in there and I told her I had resurrected the um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this right here so it doesn't get too bulky right in the middle. I'm going to have it fall just a hair short of the center crease. Um, and that way it'll help it to close easier. Um... Anyway, I told Cat Hand I had resurrected the color journal and we were working on it. I'm going to try to invite her to come and hang with us one morning. I don't know if she will, but I just haven't sent out the notice yet. All right, there's the Rick Rack. Okay, there's the Rick Rack, and I think we decided we wanted the mushrooms, right? Um, that way she has a flowery words coming. Oh, we talked about putting a butterfly coming out of her mouth, too. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Oh, yeah, the camper season. You guys do like your camping trips, don't you? Um, all right, there's the mushrooms. Now, we also talked about, where'd they go, these little butterflies and taking one of these little butterflies and having it somehow 
flying out of her mouth. I'm just not sure how to do that. Because it would almost have to go upside down if it were coming out of her mouth, right? We could do that. I don't know. What do you think about that coming out of her mouth like that? Or no? Mm -hmm. Somebody wanted, um, nope. All right. And then we had the suggestion to put these words coming out of her mouth which is the, I don't know if I like that either. She's kind of scary looking. Well, she's excited because look, she's got her little, um, she's got her little gnome in her hand and she's pointing over at the gnome. Well, look at the purple one we did last time. People said she was scary, too. But that was the purple one we did. Now we've got this one. I will use that flower or the butterfly. I just we just won't put it coming out of her mouth. Um, okay. So does that go well with that coming out over her shoulder? I'll leave it there for now. We can always move it. And then... I had this butterfly and then I had this portion of a yellow stamp that we could put up there. Oh, I had an idea on something. Where did it go? Where did it go? Because I think you guys will like it. Since she has her head cut off. What if we put a tab on front on top of it? What do you guys think of that? Let me catch up. We have a pond out back. We're set up. Oh. Hey, Pam. Good morning. You guys like that as a little hat? It's a tag, and I'll have to put some yellow on the back of it. Actually, I should put purple on the back of it since it will be. Let me put purple on the back of it because it'll be the back side of the uh, purple one. And. Uh, I like the tab. Yeah, I do too. I thought that was fun. We got to do fun things because this is our chance to have no boundaries. Oops, that's got Darla's address on it. Let's fold that up. Darla, your package is going out today. I found a roll of washi tape sitting on my desk that I don't think I put on your invoice. So I'm just going to throw it in your box or your bag. Um. It may be on there, but I'm not positive. Okay. Let's do that. And let me dry that a little bit. And then um, 
I could go back and put a little flower or something, butterfly on the back side of that. Um, purple. Hey, Susan. So I was returning a call to someone who had called me yesterday and by some I don't know why, because Susan and I have never talked on Facebook Messenger before, but it, uh, my phone picked up Susan's name out of my Messenger contacts and called her. So Susan and I got to have a nice little uh, chat on the phone yesterday. And Susan, we got a ton of Okay, I'm going to put it just right across there. We got a whole bunch of mushrooms. We stopped at an Asian market when we were down in South Carolina. That's when I was talking to Susan. And we stopped at an Asian market because they have the best, best mushrooms, different varieties. And oops, I need to go over this way. Um, so we got a whole bunch and I'm going to to hydrate the ones we can't use up before they go bad because you know they don't last forever in the fridge all right there's that i could put that five up there in her hat or I've got this little ruffle we could put down here. Or we could put more rickrack down here to kind of make it cohesive with the top. Do you guys? I like that. I like the rickrack along the bottom too. Oh, and I have something else. Let's see what you guys think. The thing I worry about with that ruffle is that it, this book is already getting a little chunky and that would make it a little too chunky. Let's see. Don't forget the thumbs up. Yes. I did get to visit with Splatters and it was really nice. We had a really nice chat. I may have to do that every once in a while and big mama if you had should we put that little butterfly right up there on the mushrooms um Why is it embarrassing, Cindy? I climbed in the cooler at Walmart for Sandy and called some friends. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my gosh. Had a pocket call with her group live. It was hilarious. Voices fo following us around. Oh, my gosh. This is another fun page, you guys. This is a really fun book to work in. But I have to tell you, it's much more fun doing it with you guys than just on my own. Let's see. How do I want to put him? Maybe like that. Okay. Now, let's look at putting this here. I'm just going to um, put this down because... It, I could cover it up with something else or all right now what did 
I do with that little piece of stamp? Let's just put that there. Or, no, I think up here, I'm going to put it at an angle. Hi, Darla. Yes, and your package is going out today, Darla. So I sent out invoices. So if you purchased from me, um, April, um, Nydia, I haven't sent yours just yet. That's going to go out this morning. Um, Mimi, yours hasn't gone yet, but it's going this morning. In fact, I got it out to invoice and then hub hubby said let's go to south carolina so i didn't get it done um all right what do you think what do you think about these flowers i could cut them down a little bit i could cut off some of these and just make it the yellow part i might do that because i don't know if i like all that white on it i think it'll be better if we just have the now watch someone will say no don't cut off that and it'll be too late because I'll be done well it's fun so we're doing it every Tuesday um, until I get through all the colors. And next week's is going to be black and white. I'll have tons of stuff for that. All right, let's see if we like this. It was just too big on her shoulder there. I think I'm going to like this a lot better. Coming out of her shoulder like that. I like that better. That other piece was too big. What do you guys think about that? Should I glue that down? And then I also had the school bus. I don't know where it went. And then I have this little gal that I was going to fussy cut and maybe put her over here. This is a playing card. And... I thought she would be fun. I'm going to cut out these little flowers and just leave her hand there. Because we don't need all those colorful flowers. Yeah, glue it. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better, smaller than... And then let's see what we think about this little girl. So today I've got I've got just maybe three or four invoices to finish up. And I've got a couple of Etsy orders I've got to get out. And then I gotta do my Marguerite Miller challenge for this week. I haven't done that yet. And then um oh, I just there's just a lot to do. There's always a lot to do. Oh, then I've got to make those. For those who weren't here, I won't go through the details of the story, but yesterday I was at a restaurant in South Carolina, and the owner of that restaurant and I got to talking, and he found out what I did. He wanted to see pictures, and he may want to buy like night lights and stuff for his um, store. He has a little merchandise section. Um, so he wants like nightlight, earrings, maybe uh, copper cuff bracelets stamped with some of his like his um, store name, the um, some of his little slogans he uses. All right, let's see. 
what do we think about her over here in the corner? Or right here, oh, she could be hanging on to the gnome's hat. What do y'all think about her? Hanging on to the gnome's hat or over here in the corner? Because I do kind of like her. Hey, Gwen. Oh, yay. I saw you comment on one of my videos. I am I haven't commented back. I'm really bad about that kind of stuff. But um, do you like her in the corner? Or her holding the, um, I know, isn't that awesome, Wendy? I may have a new customer. And Wendy, you missed it. Oh, yeah, I do my metal stuff. I haven't done it in a while, but I do. Yeah, I like her better right here. I think she goes better here. And this is kind of slick, so I'm going to... Um, so, yes, I still do the metals. Uh, let's see what's Gwen saying. Eat the girl dancing on her finger. Oh, put the girl on the finger, but then we might not be able to put this here. We could put this up here. You guys, okay. Let's take a vote. So Gwen, we um, are very, everything I can. Do you have a chat? Do you have a channel, um, Gwen? Hi, Dusty. I'm looking for Gwen's comments about what's this with the trash. Um, okay. Do we want finger? Do we want her on the gnome or do we want her in the corner? I don't like the corner. I like either put her here holding on to the gnome's hat or put her on the finger. What do you guys think? Oh, good. You love it? You still use it? Making magic with trash. The finger. Okay, I have one vote for the finger. <laughs> one for the finger. Not that kind of finger. Aww. Okay, everybody wants the finger. We'll put her on the finger. I didn't even think about that. And this is why I love working with you. So, Gwen, let me uh, tell you how we work here. It's very interactive. Um, and I'm on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Thursday, we don't come on because a friend of ours has a live stream that we usually go and visit. Or some of us do. Um, not everybody. But um, I just didn't want to compete with her. And so I don't do a live on Thursday, but we do a live every other day of the week. And then not the weekends. We used to do weekends too, but with summer here and so many people have activities and, you know, being outside. And so that is stinking cute. Isn't that cute? All right, so now where do we put the flowers? I can put the flowers just right there on her shoulder. I'm still not going to glue it down just yet. And then, Mimi, just for you, I have some of this seersucker. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. 
What do you guys think about putting those mushrooms coming up out of some seersucker? What do you guys think about that? I kind of like it because it's something more that's yellow that we can add. Okay, so either oh, so papered rooster, did you can you find uh, Gwen's? channel and put it in adds texture I know that's what I thought so yeah this is just all about seeing how much yellow stuff we can get on a page and how fun we can make it Okay, here's what we've got so far. I think, though, that this needs a little tiny button right there. I think we need a button. A little one so it doesn't create too much. Oh, look at the button box! Here we go. Let's play in the button box this morning. Oh, Oh, Marty got it. Okay, thanks, Marty. Oh, listen to that. Oh, look at this. Look at that little teddy bear. It was a button. Shanks cut off of it. Did you send me that big mama? I know you sent me some buttons. All right, let me get down to the bottom where all the little ones go and see if we've got a little yellow one. Why, I do see one. There's a little tiny, and it's real flat. I like it. Maybe we put that button like right there. And I bet. Yep. I've got some yellow embroidery thread. <laughs> yeah, I love. And I have so many more. I have so many more buttons. So you guys, the end of May, we were going to do it in April, but we switched it to May. I'm going over to Durham again. Um, the store that I sell in, they're having their sixth or seventh um, anniversary. And when they do celebration things, plus it'll be the third Friday of the month, which is always open. All the art galleries and stuff are open and they have hors d'oeuvres and all kinds of fun stuff. And, um, ooh, I've got this little tiny piece of extra rickrack that I could put that button on. I like it. It's just a little tiny something something. Anyway, so, it was like giving a baby a pacifier. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go over for that celebration. And then whenever I go over there, I always go to the scrap exchange, which is just nothing but scraps and it's stuff that people donate. And so they sell it very inexpensive. I get a ton of fat. They have fabrics, they have paper, they have buttons, they have ribbon fibers. I mean, they, you name it, they have it. And so I'll go to the scrap exchange and then there's another store throwing a tantrum. Um, 
they have another store in Greensboro that is very similar. Um, it's all just scrap stuff. Um, buttons are a thing. Well, I'm glad we're getting a button on here for you, Big Mama. It's not wanting to stick, though. Let me put a big dollop of glue down here. Um, so, when I'm at those stores, I may go live a couple of times and kind of show you what I'm looking at. Okay, I'm missing one thing. I had a school bus. I had a yellow school bus. Where did it go? Um, should I go ahead and just put this one down on her shoulder? Because I think we'll put that. I think we'll do that there. Um, so Gwen, I've started three times. Now this is another thing about me. I'll start something and then get sidetracked. Oh, look, a squirrel. Um, about our channel. So we're very interactive. Feel free. I'll ask for votes sometimes. Um, sometimes I just do what I want. Sometimes I ask for input. Or if I'm doing something that you think, oh, that's going to look horrible, just shout out no. Or if I'm trying something and you like it, let me know. It's very interactive here. So you're free to speak up. Or if you have an idea, like Big Mama said, put, try putting her on the finger. I had not even thought of that. So... Um, Oh, I've got all these flowers, too. Should we have put that up there? No. That's too big. But I do want to find that school bus. There it is. It fell on the floor. How about the school bus? Oh, how about the school bus riding on her head? And I'll just cut off... the top part of it. Do you guys like the school bus riding on her head? What do you think? We can cut off that bottom too. And then just a little bit on that side. A little bit on that side. Love it. Not really. <laughs> There's the school bus. Okay. Yes or no? You guys, yes, or, I'm going to kind of fussy cut it a little more and not leave it just so square. Um, okay, vote yes or no. School, school bus on her hat, yes or no. We'll take a vote and see what we think. So Gwen, you're welcome to vote. The only thing we don't allow here is fence sitters. You can't say, yeah, either way works for me. You have to, if you're going to vote. You got to take a stand. Marty is yes. Dusty is no. What about the rest of you? Yes, Melody. Yes, Big Mama. It looks like the yeses are going to have, and I'm so sorry, Dusty. But these pages are supposed to be kind of fun and whimsical, too, so. All right, almost done cutting this out. Okay, that looks a little better. We can put it right at the bottom like it's rolling along there. 
All right. I think the yeses have it. The buses would explain the face she's making. This is true. The bus hit the gnome and knocked it over. Uh, <laughs> Big Mama. Big Mama's always got to have a story to go with everything. Um, so first she thought the bus got it, or the gnome got into the mushrooms and was stoned. Now it's the bus hit the gnome and knocked him over. Oh, how fun is that? And then we have it purple. Oops, it's kind of crooked. Let's see if I'm too late to get this thing straight. Maybe not. I got her hat crooked. All right, let's take off the bus. Let's take off the hat because I got it on here crooked. I don't know if I can take it off. I may just have to clip it around here. Let's try to straighten this out a little because that looks really bad on the other side. So let's just try to straighten it out and round off these corners. Actually, uh, I have my corner rounder. Let's just do the little one. I don't know if I can get that in there. I can't get that in there. Yeah, that looks better. There's always a way to fix stuff, you know? Never... Never despair. The only problem now is getting that corner rounded. Close enough. Close enough. Now, now it looks funny on this side. But it's going to be okay because we're going to put the um, bus on it. All right. <laughs> Laughing at the gnome being stoned. I know. I love the bus on her hat. You don't like gnomes? Um, yeah. I may play with that a little bit more, get it a little more even. But you know what? It's a wonky book. So if her hat's a little wonky, then it's a little wonky. It is what it is, right? All right, let's put this back on here. Put the bus on her hat. Now, let's see, what else do we need? I have some tulips here. So tell me the story. What do you think about this gnome? This might be too big. I had some smaller stickers. I don't know where they went. Some smaller ones out. Um, Oh, I'd forgotten that, Dusty. You're in. Huh. 
<laughs> All right. So there we go. We have her little hat. We've got the school bus on it. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything else we need. This has got a little bit of glue on here. All right, do we need a little more of the check? No. Oh, here's a glass of lemonade. Should we put a glass of lemonade down there in that corner? I think so. I know, isn't it fun? It's just like just finding a bunch of stuff and putting it together. But yeah, I think a glass of lemonade right there is really kind of cool. And I wonder Nah. Thought maybe that would look like a straw, but it's too much Rick Rack, and Rick Rack doesn't look like a straw. So I'm not gonna do that. Let me see what else I have over here. Seems like I have some more stuff. We already have one of those butterflies down there. I do have another one if you guys think that would look good. Um Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Judy. Judy. So that's really kind of a fun page, isn't it? I feel like it just needs something up here. Oh, I wonder if... Look at this. And this is on yellow. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm getting all quiet. A bumblebee. I got to see if I have. Oh, I think I know what I have. What about yes? She could be saying yes. What do you guys think about that? Look at that for a minute, and I'm going to see if I can find... Um... Hmm. I have a big container of buttons that Ooh. No. <laughs> Hi Tammy. No, you don't like the yes? I've got some little, I've got some little, oh, now that would be cute right on there. Too bad I don't 
have an OMG. I know, not in yellow, I don't. Um, I just keep finding. There was a lot of purple stuff in here, too. I might need to go back and look at that purple page. I do go back sometimes and add to stuff. Oh, there's another little one. All right, I thought, I, I know that I have some bumblebee buttons. I just don't know where the container that they're in got to. It has wandered off somewhere. Okay, I do like this here. What do you guys think about that? I'm gonna cut these legs off and just, or I could poke it through. No, I'm just gonna cut off the legs and glue it down. Um, I don't wanna poke it down. Hey, Penny, can I make a yellow OMG maybe? Maybe I can. Let me get this down. What's our time like? 111. So we've got 20 minutes still. All right. So what do y'all think about that? And then maybe I could put a little one on top of that. So let's this glued down. Okay, Gwen. Let's see, I've got those are about the same size. Um, so we've got that flower there. So, Penny, this is the yellow page in our cat handbook. Yeah, so what if we add a little more dimension there and put down... The little one. There we go. There. There, we've got two little flowers on there. Now this, let me just turn this over. Let me turn this over and let me um, see, I've got squeezed lemonade, which is a really bright yellow. I've got fossilized amber. It's a much darker color. And then I've got, what's this one? Mustard seed. Just dark. Let's try. I can always go over it with something else. Let's try the lemon one. So I'm just going to recolor this yellow and get out my stamps and stamp um, anyone else. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> we got quite the crew. We got 23 in here today. I love it. Um, All right, let's see if that's the right color yellow. Is that the right color yellow? I think it is. It's nice and bright. All 
Yep, thumbs up, everybody. All right, now let me find a stamp set that's just a little bit bigger because, oh, here we go. Oh, these are, these are lowercase. Um, Do you think these will work? Do you think OMG needs to be all uppercase, doesn't it? There's this. This is what it would look like. Is that okay? Right there? Or should I search and find some uppercase letters. You like it, Susan? You think the OMG is okay with lowercase? What about everybody else? Everybody agree with Susan? like it. That's great. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this even halfway straight. Um, I thought I had my black archival ink out. I did the other day and I don't see it back in the I love this ink holder. I just don't always put stuff back. Okay. Oh. M. And it's not going to fit. Well, I'll just have to cut out. I'll just have to cut out another one. And maybe these letters are too big. Of course, if I went over farther, it might fit. If I went way over to the edge. Let's see what we can do here. Or I could just stamp it and then cut it out. But I wouldn't have this nice round shape. Whoops. <laughs> I know. Whoops. Let's see. Where did my squeezed lemonade go? Squeeze lemonade. Maybe the trick is to put the M in the middle and then do the others. Oh, that was stupid. Cheryl. Okay, I'm going to dry this a little bit because it kind of blurred a little on the last one because the yellow wasn't dry. All right. Let's try this again. We've got the O and I need to get it way over here to the side. Oh, there we go. Got a little black up there on the top, but that's okay. And um, 
O M G. There we go. Now, let me dry that, and then I'm going to go around the edge with black. I've got so much stuff out here, I don't even know what's, what's what. All right, let's put the black soot away, put the squeeze lemonade away, and the dauber. All right, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Me and that mouse, I hate that mouse. I really need to buy another one because I need one for my other computer too. And let's put this up here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, what do you think about that OMG? I'm going to put it down. I did survive. I had just looked up and seen that. Uh, yes, 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 Dusty Unicorn says. Yeah, that side button on that mouse is just a pain in the backside. Let me tell you what. OMG. All right. Does she need anything else at all? Oops, I have her off camera. Does this page need anything else? Nope. It was a real mouse. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't cussing. I really didn't. Cursive. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think that takes care of the yellow page. Oh, so here... So let me go back for those of you who weren't here at the beginning when I first started this. Let me go back and show you. And maybe we'll find something to put on this little 
tabs. So these were the pages that I did before. These were the original pages I did. There's um, my red page, obviously. A teal page. Look at that, Penny. Teal just for you. An orange page. Oh, see, I have a ruffle there. And some like crochet trim. This was our purple page. This we did do together. And now we have the yellow page. So it's the book of colors. I know you love this page, don't you, Penny? What about, uh, oh, the bumblebee. I will continue to look for a bumblebee. I don't know what happened to the container that it's in. I, I know exactly where it is. I have a bumblebee. Um, hang on, let me see if I can find one here in these little stickers that I have here. Um, hmm. Not there. Let me look through this box. I may have to find it and then come back and show you in our next one because oh, there's more of those butterflies. Let me put those up front. Um, but I definitely will put a bumblebee on it. I'll just. I don't want to leave you guys hanging while I search and search and search for a bumblebee. Oh, you know, well, no, I don't know where that is either. Um, hmm. Hmm. What did I do with that bin? I know that I've got butter. They're they're little buttons. They're little bumblebee buttons. And I have them if I could find the jar that they're in. There's those. Hang on, you guys. Nope, that's the big ones. I'm looking. Ooh, for the black and white page next week, look at these. Not that, those are more buttons. If we found a person to put on there, we could put some black and white googly eyes on them. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, okay. Everybody take note. Marty, do you want to put uh, Dusty Unicorn's channel in? Yeah, I can't. I can't find those bumblebees. Um, I know that I have them. It's just, where did I put them? And I couldn't begin to tell you that right now. So, oh, 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 wait a minute. I have one more place to look. I have one more place they might be. Hang tight. Well, 
Okay, I found some. It might be too big, but we'll. Oh no, I have a little one in here. Look at these bumblebee stickers. They're little puffy stickers, and I've got this little one. I can put either up here in the corner. I kind of like it down here, though, or I could put it down here on her shoulder or somewhere else. And I have some that are a little bit bigger. Well, hi there, Johnny. I'm so glad. On her nose? Well, we could certainly try that. Oh, look at that. That might also explain why her eyes are so bugged out. She's got a bumblebee on her nose. What do you guys think about that? Okay, Gwen, there was something else that I know. Perfect, right? Okay, let me put a little glue on her so she stays down. I found the bumblebee. I'm so glad I found her. Um, so, Gwen, I have a couple of things. I do a monthly Happy Mail giveaway. Um, it's a pretty nice, usually a pretty nice package. And um, try and keep the wings out of her eyeballs. Um, And the winner of that Happy Mail package is determined by um, comments that people leave on the channel. So once this goes live, once I hit the, oh, we're about time to finish up. Once I hit the stop button and it, and it saves, then if you go in and comment, you get an entry into the Happy Mail drawing and you can comment any video that's done in April will gain you an entry. I mean, you can comment on other, and you have one entry already because you've already commented once. So, um, so be sure and comment on the videos. And then May 1st, and I do it live, is when I'll do the drawing and show the happy mail for May. All right. I think we're done, you guys. There's the yellow page. So, Johnny, what we're doing cat hand um you know she does her mixed media morsels and she does a um she does a different thing every year and um yeah be sure and comment so you'll you'll have an entry um you know what i'm gonna no oh, it's already stuck down the antenna go right up into her eye but that's okay this is just for me um and so two years ago she started this color book where every month you had a different color and i had done like three pages in it and then i quit so i thought we would revisit it and go back and finish this thing up so last week we did the purple page And then today, and we're doing this every Tuesday, we'll do, so next week is going to be black and white. And if you guys want to play along, gather up a bunch of black and white stuff, papers, images, little doodads, buttons, and um, you can play along. This is fun. Yeah, I'm glad you got up early, too. So, yeah, we'll do one next Tuesday. But that's it, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Thumbs up, please, if you haven't. Um, know that I love you all. And um, we'll be back tomorrow with something else. I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow. But um, I love her. And I love the bee on her nose. Was that... Dusty, that was you that said put a bee on her. Well, not on the nose, but you wanted the bee. I'm so glad I went and found it because that is just cute as can be. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and love you all.
and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.